and welcome to another one of my videos. Yes, today we are going to be doing our makeup. This video is sponsored by Lush for their intergalactic Christmas gifts. Oh my goodness me, it's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Juno Show. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the, the Juno Show. Welcome, welcome to the Juno Show. And welcome to the Juno Show. And welcome to the Juno Yes, that's happening. Yes, everybody, I am back. I have arrived, and I know, I look absolutely gorgeous. But I'm going to be getting all of this alien fashion off in a minute, and we're going to be transforming ourselves into a very gorgeous pedestrian human being. But before we start, we have a word from our gorgeous and stunning sponsors at Lush. Christmas is about to get spacey and gorgeous with Lush's intergalactic Christmas gifts. Lush's gift sets are always great for Christmas, especially the Dreamland gift box. And their intergalactic limited edition products. Inside the Dreamland gift box, we have the absolutely stunning Sleepy Bath Bomb, which is exclusive to the Dreamland gift set and also the Sleepy Bear Balm. And we also have Twilight Sleepy Body Spray, Sleepy Shower Gel, Sleepy Body Lotion, and the Sleepy Bubble Bar. Did you know that the first bath bomb was created in the co-founder's shed? Now they sell one bath bomb every second, including these gorgeous intergalactic bath bombs. Did you know that all of Lush's products include plastic-free glitter so you can glam up in style, guilt-free, a yes that's happening. Not only can you bathe in a cosmic wonderland, you can now also shower in it too. And for the super fans that want to upgrade their intergalactic bathing experience, there is a brand new bubble bar that is just waiting to be crumbled. For that little bit of festive rest and relaxation, I like to use the sleepy body lotion. And I always end my day with a twilight body spray. Head on down to your local store or lush.com for more out of this world gift ideas or scan the QR code to purchase the collection. Goodbye! Thank you so much Lush for sponsoring this video. I very much appreciate it. And now my whole drag room smells absolutely gorgeous. So what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be taking off our makeup. But before we start, I must remove my sunglasses. Yes, I have eyeballs and you know what? I am very lazy because I didn't do my eye makeup and I very often don't do my eye makeup when I'm on YouTube. I never do because what's the point? You can't see my eyeballs. Anyway, so to take my makeup off usually, I will use three in one caring Nivea baby wipes because they're quite oily so I like them very much, yes I do. Could you get me the Lush butter? It's in the downstairs bathroom, my love. Oh. So people, I use Nivea baby wipes to take off my makeup usually. Oh, I like to be quite sensitive around the nose. Yes, everybody, I'm a lazy bitch. I'm a lazy, lazy cow. When I'm on YouTube, I barely ever do eye makeup. I just do the lids that you can see over the top of the lenses of the glasses. And then, because what's the point in doing eye makeup if you can't see my eyes anyway? People always ask me what my skincare routine is. I don't really have a skincare routine. I just use these. Or sometimes, if my makeup is really dry, I use Ultra Bland um, Facial Cleanser by Lush. It's like a buttery consistency. And what you do is you just rub it in, like into your makeup like this, and it just loosens it all off your face. But I don't often do that because as you can see, having blue skin is very messy, people. It is very messy. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my God. Also, another thing, people, is that when I've had blue skin on, it often will stain my skin a little bit and I'll look like a corpse for the next few days. 
So what I like to do is put some tinted moisturisers on afterwards, which I'm going to do in a moment. We're going to look glam and gorgeous, trust me. I know I look like a corpse right now, but in a minute we're going to look absolutely fabulous. Let me get my wig off and everything. Right, one second, everyone shut up. This is that moment in Mars Tax where um, the Martian spy woman takes off her hair. movie as you can see all of my drag is always inspired by that movie just give it a scrub what I like to do sometimes is I will get in the sink and I will just wash the front of my hair because I often paint the blue into my hair look how different the color of my arm is to my face now can you see that that's my natural skin color and this is how the blue makes my skin look when I take it off right, I'll be back in a minute people I'm just gonna scrub the rest off and give my face a little wash with this um, Lush Ultra Bland and then I will be back in a second. Right, I have got changed everybody. I've got out of the zebra print to look. And it is time, I know, my, I, I hate my natural hair. Um, I'm getting it done soon in a salon. Um, I just have such a tiny little pea head. It's like so small. So what I do usually is I'll use a very, very, very light tinted moisturiser. And this is my favourite one at the moment that I've been using. It's called Hourglass. And it's like a it's like a very, very thin hydrating skin tint. And it just kind of gets off those blue tones in my skin. And I just rub it in like moisturiser. And it makes me look healthy again. And it feels like I'm barely wearing any makeup absolutely gorgeous it kind of contrasts those bluey tones that made me look ill before now usually i'd get in the shower straight after doing drag always but today i'm showing you all how i get out of drag and look absolutely gorgeous um very quickly we have to pretend we're in the back of a wooden wagon and we need to get ready really quickly fabulous i'm gonna put a bit more on under this section just to get rid of those very very bluey circles under my eyes right and as you can see my hair is an absolute state usually when i've been in drag um i'm getting it done at a salon soon so i'm very very excited and i've only been to a salon three times in my whole life so we go from big 60s flip wig bob to a sharon this is a sharon so this is an Amazon wig that was £30 and it's very, very cheap and very um, uh, plasticky. But I layer it and I put lots of oils in it. It's a very comfortable wig. And then I basically put eyeshadow all in the roots where I've layered it. So as you can see, this is my little out of drag hairdo at the moment people at the moment she's feeling a Kate Nash kind of way so because I'm doing my brows and stuff I'm just going to pin the hair back slightly give it a bit of a Peak Burns vibe I'm just going to put a bit of this concealer on it's my favourite concealer at the moment and it's called Camouflage Liquid Corrector we're doing this makeup with very little amount of tools so I'm using my fingers. Right, and all we're gonna do, we're just gonna pat a little powder on top. Pat, 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 pow. Stunning. Right. Next, we're gonna be just adding some brows so we look like a human being. We're just gonna, you know, we're popping to Tesco, so we don't wanna scare everybody. So we're just putting a little bit of a brow on. It's all in the wrist, people. It is all in the wrist. So what I'm going to be doing next, everybody, is I'm going to be taking the House Labs bronzer and I'm just going to pop a bit of that on. Booty pat 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 booty pat 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 booty pat 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 pat. So I like to use this mascara, which is a thick big mascara. It's just called thick. Oh, it's from H&M. So I'm just doing a very faint layer of lash, just to add a bit of ooh. And now what I'm going to be doing, everybody, is I'm going to just take an eyeliner and I'm just going to gently go under the eye just to smooth all that mascara in, in the roots. Right, next what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking my new favourite highlighter. Now I found this in an airport and it was an absolute sleigh. 
and it's called Jacqueline. Oh, not too much though, because we're going very pedestrian now, people. Tower 28 Lip Gloss. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's bright red, but when I put it on, it does not look too much. Right, take my little clippies out. Oh my God, who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Right, well this is my finished quick, very quick, out of drag transformation and no one's gonna know it's me. No one's gonna know. What is it giving people? Tell me in the comments who this is giving. I feel like it's giving someone but I can't put my finger on who it's giving. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. I hope you're all well and thriving and stunning and telling yourself that you're stunning every single day. I also wanna thank Lush for sponsoring this video. My room smells gorgeous now. Thank you so much, my loves. See you next time. Bye.